you know what? Let's take a little bit of a break from all this ridiculous beauty guru drama and let's talk about something that really matters. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, not only do I do a lot of YouTube commentary and try to see what lessons we can learn from them, but what I try to do here is speak up and speak out uh, about things that actually matter, things that matter to me. And I think all of us should be using our platform to talk about these things. So anyways, if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So unless you've been living under a rock, like there is something major going on in the United States right now. And that is Alabama passing a bill to pretty much ban abortions, okay? So Alabama, has some dudes who passed a law basically saying that abortion is illegal and if you get an abortion or if you perform an abortion, you can get up to 99 years in prison, okay? And this is a major issue, okay? So a lot of people are talking about Roe v. Wade and this being a Supreme Court issue now and everything like that. But anyway, something that's happening on Twitter is many women are speaking out, sharing their stories and it's it's in an effort to discuss like why it's important to be pro-choice and giving women the right to choose. And somebody who's done this is Anna Akana. So Anna Akana just tweeted this out. I had an abortion nine years ago. I was young, naive, and with a guy who cheated on me all the time. It is to this day one of the best decisions I made. I was in no way ready for mother motherhood. No one should be forced into a situation as serious as pregnancy. And you guys, like, before I jump into more of this topic, like, here's, here's the thing. Like, when I'm talking about YouTubers and I'm pointing out, like, the hypocrisy and, you know, um, talking about accountability and everything like that, like, you guys, like, Tati Westbrook is breaking records. Breaking records right now for, like, how many subscribers she's gained. I think Tati Westbrook is a great woman, but, like, here's the thing. Like, don't just... Don't just support creators because they like put somebody on blast or outed somebody or exposed somebody or you know, whatever. Like ask yourself who you're following and why you're following them. Like who are you supporting? Because Anna Akana, like she does not get nearly enough credit in my opinion. Anna Akana is this woman who is using her platform for good. Not only did she just open up about one of the most vulnerable parts of her life, right? And and put this out there on Twitter, but her whole channel, like she talks about serious things and they're short, amazing, you know, uh, uh, like little short films. And she talks a lot about mental health and like loving yourself and just like important things. Like in my opinion, Anna Akana should have 10 million subscribers, all right? But anyways, so so yeah, like Anna Akana is talking about her experience with this and this is one of the million reasons why this is so important. So like in Alabama, like they discuss like in cases of, you know, rape or incest, then like maybe there's some gray area to get an abortion. And like there's so many other things that are going on. So one of them that, that absolutely blows my mind is how people keep trying to defund Planned Parenthood, okay? Like Planned Parenthood, provides so many services to women. Like abortion is only like a fraction of what they're doing. They're providing so, so many services. And one of them is contraception, okay? Like what we have to realize, what we have to realize with this whole thing that's going on is that some of the people who are making these laws are against safe sex, right? They're against like, uh, uh, like using like condoms and everything like, like that is crazy. They're, they're against birth control. Okay. Like there was a story a while back where, um, what was it? Hobby Lobby where because the owners, they're, you know, super religious and everything like that. Like they didn't want their insurance plans to cover birth control for women. Like this is just such a screwed up scenario where it's like, okay, we, we don't want you to have an abortion but we also don't want you to have birth control. So the idea is in this like magic land that they're living in is that people should just practice abstinence, right? Like, hey, don't get me wrong. In a, in a, 
in a perfect world, like abstinence is the best way to practice safe sex. But that's not what's happening because human biology exists, okay? People get together and they get the groove on. That is something that happens, all right? Like back in the day, back in the day, schools when they would teach sex education they would just teach abstinence like listen don't do it right and then all of a sudden they kind of realize they're like wait a second we're telling teenagers to just not even have sex which is not gonna happen so they're like okay well let's at least teach them about safe sex and like yes like that's what you got to do now one of the other issues that i take with the abortion ban is the people who make these types of laws the people who make these types of laws they're like no abortions but they are on the other side, on the other side of this thing, they are constantly trying to, to defund like social programs that help people take care of their kids, right? So basically they're like, have the freaking kid, but then you gotta figure it out, right? But like Anna Akana just shared, like she was in no position to have a child. That's where this thing just gets absolutely baffling to me, is that they want you to have a kid, but then like, they want you to figure it out on your own. And it's crazy to me because as many of you know who have been following my channel for a while, I'm a huge advocate for mental health, okay? And one of the issues is that a lot of people don't talk about enough, like, sure, there's a lot of biology that goes into mental health uh, and mental illness, right? There are so many, you know, genetic predispositions and everything like that, but multiple studies over countless years have proven that there is a major part of mental illness that comes along with the way a person was parented. That That's why when they talk about mental health issues, they talk about biological, social, and psychological issues, okay? All of these things can cause mental health issues. So some of these women, like Anna Akana, who realize that they are in no way, shape, or form fit to be a parent when they got pregnant, they are potentially saving a, a child from a life that is going to be not so great, right? And like, in my opinion, like that is one of the most responsible things a person can do. It is for a person to sit back and realize like, I cannot give this child the best situation in their life, right? And then we're talking about all these years to come where like, you know, um, people who grow up without a father, they're gonna have their own mental health issues. People who grow up in poverty, they're gonna have their own mental health issues. Those of you who don't know me, I'm coming up on seven years sober. Many people with addictions, right? It's because like they grew up in certain types of households or certain types of neighborhoods or grew up in a, uh, in a one parent household or grew up in a situation where the one parent raising them had to work their ass off 24 seven to support that child. And that's when kids turn to drugs and alcohol. So there are so many different layers to this thing. And it's not as black and white as people think. Like, listen, I get it. This topic is very difficult. It's rough to discuss. And I do, I do think that there should be some guidelines, right? Like, because when you when you really start to have this conversation about abortion, it's like, okay, well, how far along is too far along, right? Like, that's something like, whether you're pro-choice or not, like, that's a conversation that needs to be ha had. But just straight up banning abortion is not the way to do it. But at the end of the day, this, again, this has multiple layers to it. Like, even for women who go through with the pregnancy, we need to take a look at the different social programs going on and everything like that because those are an issue as well. Because whether or not this, this law gets repealed or not, there are still going to be many children who are born into bad situations. That's why I find it important that we talk about all the social issues. We talk about schooling, we talk about mental health care, we talk about uh, uh, substance abuse prevention programs, we talk about all of those things. So the last thing I wanna end this video with is, it is 2019. Next year is 2020, 
okay? Like, I never thought in a million years I'd be that old guy, right? Hey, I'm only 33, but go out there and vote. For the love of God, go out there and vote. I hope for the next year and a half, until the next election, you are paying attention to the politicians, what they're saying, what their policies are, what their plans of action are, because this is how we make change happen, okay? So don't be that person who's like, what's my vote gonna do? Your vote means something, okay? So find people who align with what you believe in and your values, and next November, go out there and vote, all right? But anyways, again, go check out Anna Akona's channel. Go subscribe to her. We need to support people in the YouTube community who are standing up for what they believe in and being public about it, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos talking about all sorts of stuff. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits and support what I'm doing here, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.